We did the Art of Neighboring, just kind of felt compelled that we had a good cul-de-sac to hang out in and wanted to get to know people kind of in our area. We had one couple from our small group, people out of the neighborhood that we didn't know who went to Mission Hills, so we kind of got to know them. And we did ask a few of our neighbors and, you know, it was a little, a little awkward and they didn't attend, but uh, it was worth a shot. Um, and they saw us meeting every week while we did that. So it opened up conversation onto what the art of neighboring is and kind of Jesus's great commandment. There was no negative. It actually opened up conversation in a good way. We've gotten pretty close to our neighbors and although they're not church going people necessarily, they're good friends and great conversation. And you know, we've gotten to a point of really caring for each other. If you can simply allow yourself to be a friend, care about people, God will do all the work. Just be available. I think the art of neighboring, the art of smoking meats in your front yard, it allows you to be you, it allows your neighbor to be your neighbor, and it allows you to have something to, to come together on. And like food's the great unifier. It's, it's weird, but it works. And to have no expectations where the conversation's gonna go, you getting to be you with other people that aren't judging you is really a great thing. So I, I think enjoying your neighborhood and your home that much more, uh, it, it's even that much better when, when you've got neighbors who are willing to do that with you and, and, and having that many more people care about you as much as you care about them. It makes for a good life.